Hi, my name is Austin, and welcome to today's CAM tech tip about creating a custom tool within SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. First, you need to create a SOLIDWORKS part with a single revolve feature. Some notes about that sketch used to create this feature. The sketch must be on the front plane with a vertical line of revolution, and everything within the sketch must be to the right and above the origin. Once you have your revolve feature, within your SOLIDWORKS CAM or CAMWORKS menu tab, click the button for a user-defined tool or holder. This will launch the Create Tool dialog box. From within this dialog, click the Browse button and choose the location you want to save this tool. I personally recommend saving these custom tool files outside the SOLIDWORKS and CAMWORKS file structure completely to reduce any chance they're overwritten accidentally during upgrades. Give the tool file a distinct name that you will remember later. We've now saved this tool file externally, but note the SOLIDWORKS file itself has not been saved. If you'd like to keep this file for modification later, do so now. Now we can launch our technology database. Once inside, we can select the tab for Mill Tooling, then choose User Defined Tools. Click any tool from the list and make a copy of it. Now select the copy and change all the relevant parameters. Some specifications, such as feed per tooth, are generally available from the tool manufacturer. Be sure to point the tool name and path location to the file we saved externally earlier and click Save. Your newly created tool is now available under the User Defined Tools heading within SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. I hope you've enjoyed today's CAM tech tip and look forward to more in the future. If you have any questions about SOLIDWORKS CAM or CAMWORKS, contact us at GSE. Thank you.